hello friends welcome to a new lecture today now i would like to discuss about the fracture of olecranon process fracture of olecranon process so fracture of olecranon process it is usually seen in adults so this mainly results from a trauma whenever there is trauma then you have this fracture of olecranon process so to this olecranon process triceps muscle is attached right so let me just show you how this occurs so this is the humerus so this is the olecranon process this is normal okay normal now there are three different types the fracture of olecranon pro olecranon process is divided into three types so the first type where there is just a crack but there is no displacement you know it's there is just a fracture line but there is no displacement that is type 1 there is only a crack and there is no displacement okay in type 2 there is a crack and there is also displacement of the displacement of the fragments this is type 2 you will also see the displacement type 3 type 3 it is a comminuted fracture it's not a simple fracture it is a comminuted fracture okay so this is type 3 so fracture of olecranons is mainly the three types one uh, it is just a crack it is not displaced two there is a crack and clean uh, there is a break and it is displaced why is it displaced this is because of the pull of the triceps muscle here triceps muscle is attached because of the pull of the triceps muscle there is a displacement of this fracture and three that is nothing but the comminuted fracture so whenever there is displacement to the you know this results from direct injury mostly uh, into the fall on the elbow joint during that time there is an injury to the olecranon process and this uh, injury due to the triceps muscle which is there because of the pull of the triceps muscle you will see displacement okay how you go what are the treat what are the investigate what are the how does the patient present to us the patient presents to us with, with pain swelling over the elbow joint if you examine it the patient will have tenderness obviously there will be pain so there will be tenderness and there will be gap between the fragments you can if you just palpate it you can even feel the gap between the fragments okay then investigation the best investigation that is done in x-ray on x-ray you can see this fracture line okay how are you going to treat it treatment depends upon the type of the fract olecranon fracture okay if there is type 1 where there is a crack but there is no displacement here you will just immobilize it okay immobilize with above elbow fracture above elbow fracture you'll put an above elbow fracture and you'll immobilize it okay and then after three weeks you will remove the fracture after three weeks you'll remove it and you will start elbow exercises okay so that is how you treat type 1 in type 2 because there is already a displacement right there is already a displacement so as a result you cannot immobilize it like this if you immobilize it like this it goes it goes to non-union but it does not um, uh, cure so as a result what you have to do is you'll have to do open reduction and internal fixation okay you have to just do open reduction and internal fixation using a uh, k-wires or tension banding you can use anything in type 3 it is again divided into whether the fragments are separated or whether the fragments are not separated and separated if the fragments are separated then you can just put a slab above elbow slab or pl plastic slab if they are not separated you can just put a slab then the, it, it, it will heal on its own if it's separated then you'll have to do tension band wiring you'll have to do tension band wiring and you'll have to excise these fragments these fragments which are there these should be excised and you will have to join these both okay you'll have to excise these fragments and you'll have to join these both so whenever displacement occurs you'll have to do this so this is how you treat the fracture of olecranon process now what are the complications of this fracture of olecranon process i'll write here the complications are one there can be non-union why can there be non-union because whenever there is displacement increased displacement this whenever there is displacement and if you did not do open reduction and internal fixation and if you just immobilized it then there is formation of callus over the ends of the bone leading to a disunion non-union sorry then there can be elbow stiffness so elbow stiffness is seen in some cases in this case you'll have to do physiotherapy for treatment 
the third one is there can be osteoarthritis also even in osteoarthritis you'll have to do a physiotherapy so this is how you treat fracture of olecranon process thank you guys for watching my lecture